Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acid here again with you for another video and today I have my Q&A for you guys. I asked you guys to leave some questions a couple days ago for a Q&A. This is kind of just like a milestone Q&A. We just hit 3 mil channel views, almost at 30,000 subscribers and now we're getting close to our 300 videos. It's absolutely insane. So I just wanted to do kind of like a milestone Q&A for you guys. I have a lot of questions to get through so I might not get to all of you guys. These are in no particular order. Order. I just kind of screenshot a bunch of questions and I'm gonna answer them for you guys So the first question comes from at Rourke 666 and this was from Twitter and he asked How's your relationship going with your girlfriend? It's been a while since she was last featured in your channel So a while back I had done a video with my girlfriend Jovi on Rainbow Six Siege She played it for the first time and turned out to be pretty funny I'll leave a link to that down below but things between me and her are going absolutely amazing We just had our four-year anniversary about a month ago and we're just still going very strong I plan to do videos with her sometime in the future, but yeah, things are going pretty good. The next question is again from Twitter from Mr. Penguin 277 and he asked, Hey Gavin, are you getting an Xbox One to play with us? I know you mentioned it, but I was wondering when you do it. And I know a lot of you guys ask when I'm getting a PC or an Xbox, and as for the Xbox, I honestly have no clue when. I know you, a lot of you guys are very curious because you want to play with me, but I don't see myself getting one anytime in the near future. I am going to be getting a PC very soon, but that's just also to help out with my YouTube stuff. I'm going to be getting a faster computer to help out with editing, even to stream some more and stuff like that. So I'm going to be getting a new PC very soon and might do Siege videos on PC, but as for Xbox, I just really have no clue. The next question is from from Marcus and he asked, who is your favorite YouTubers? And I'm gonna have to say my favorite YouTubers are Matimio, Level Cap, and probably Jack Frags. These are just some of my favorite YouTubers that I've always watched back in the day. And Level Cap and Matimio are actually the people who got me into Rainbow Six Siege, so I wouldn't have any of this if it wasn't for them. And those are the guys that I definitely watch every day. I also really do like watching Anthony Pitt one because he just creates amazing content. He puts so much time and detail in his videos, and they just come out really good and creative so I would also have to say Anthony Pitt for that and funny that that was mentioned because the next question comes from Hawkeye and he asked would you give Anthony Pitt one the D and I'm really hoping he gets on PS4 soon and gets his stuff figured out so we could do a collab and I'll give him the D then for sure the next question is from Gibby King Gaming and he asked do I like being a ginger and to be honest with you guys I really like being a ginger because it's just kind of different it's like less than 1% of the people in the world have red hair and I think it's pretty cool and unique and I'm actually the only one out of 32 grandkids to have red hair. The only people in my family is a couple of my uncles, so I think it's pretty cool to be unique. I really don't get mad when people say ginger. I know some redheads get really butthurt about it, but it doesn't really bother me, but yeah, I just like being a ginger. Next question comes from Nicklin, and he asks, what is your favorite map on Siege and why? And I did a video on this a little while ago, but I have House as my favorite map in Rainbow Six Siege because it is so small, extremely close quarters, the action happens very quick and fast, and they're just really intense rounds a lot of the times when you play on House. Yeah, it does get annoying sometimes, but for the most part, it's just a really fun map to play. But moving along to the next question, which comes from Christopher Gonzalez, and this is something that a lot of people kind of ask me a lot, which is where are you from and how old are you? Currently, I am 21 years old. I just had my birthday on the 26th of July and I'm from Illinois and I live very close to Chicago and I kind of move between my you know actual house and living at school in an apartment while I go to college. Next up we have a question from NX Lance hopefully I said that right and he asked have you ever smoked slash done drugs? Now I think it's kind of funny because I am 21 and I have never drank alcohol in my life the only actual time was during a communion when I was younger I drank wine but other than that I've never smoked never drank never nothing and it's kind of weird in the college life because a lot of people do drink and smoke and I just do none of that my body is my temple I just keep it pretty clean don't do any type of drugs but at the same time you know whatever floats your boat go ahead and do it I don't really judge anybody who does smoke or drink if that's something you want to do go ahead have fun with it but be safe is my recommendation I would also say if you do decide to do some of those stuff wait until you're a little bit older and more mature and understanding of everything because as fun as those things might be there are bad stuff associated with them the next question comes from Ship Gaming, and it's another common YouTube question that I figured I'd answer for you guys. And he asks, what software do you use to make your thumbnails and edit your videos? And 
and he asked how old I am and I already answered that but for the thumbnails I use Photoshop and for editing my videos I use Sony Vegas but I'm thinking about using Adobe Premiere Pro and just to try it out but yeah for the most part I just use Sony Vegas also one more YouTube related question that a lot of people ask and what is my outro and I use on and on by cartoon I leave all of the music I use down in the description so from now on you guys can check the description if there's a song you hear and you want to know what it is the next question is from PC James and he asks how easy is it for you to play ps4 at college and I'm gonna say it can be kind of difficult at times I always have a lot going on whether it's my actual classes with group projects and other stuff they have me doing throughout the semester or just trying to spend time with my girlfriend and you know get away from the school stuff um, it can be difficult, but I always make time. I enjoy playing video games. I love having fun and just kind of relaxing. I use it as my stress reliever. So when I get super stressed out, I just try to game for a couple of hours. So at times it can be difficult, but I always find a way to make some time. Next, we have Cameron K asking if there are any new upcoming series or videos we can be excited for. And I've been thinking pretty hard on some new series to have for you guys. I know with the Operator School series ending, I want to keep a fresh new series for you guys to be excited for. So if you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below that you think might be cool. And I am thinking of a couple right now, but at the moment, I don't have anything official. They're just kind of thoughts. The next question comes from Finn Riccio. Hopefully I said that right. And he asked, what did I major in in college or what do you plan on majoring in? And for those of you who don't know, I am in college right now. I go to North Northern Illinois University in Illinois and my major right now is business management and leadership and then I'm doing a minor in entrepreneurship with a sales certificate so I'm get pretty busy with school doing a lot of different stuff trying to do my major and minor and I will be a senior in this upcoming year so I'm super excited I have one more year to go and I'm finally done with school and with that said it kind of leads into the next question from Zach Allen he asked is YouTube going to be a full-time job for you and as of right now I just have a lot of fun doing the YouTube thing and I definitely would never stop and as much as I would hope that it would be a full-time job at some point and that would be like my dream job I guess you would say uh, right now I just kind of focus on going to school and doing my stuff for my major and getting some sort of business job when I graduate but you know like I said hopefully I can make it a job one day next the lone wanderer asked have I ever played any other Tom Clancy games and the answer to that is no actually I have never played any Tom Clancy games before Siege. Like I said earlier, Matsumio and Level Cap got me into this game. I was super hyped. It was going to be a new first person shooter for me to play. And that's really what got me to play it. So yeah, Siege is a first for me. Next, Jewish Gaming TV asked Leafy or Pyro. I'm going to have to go with Leafy. I don't watch many Pyro Cynical videos. I've seen a couple and they're not bad by any means, but I don't know. Something about Leafy is just pretty entertaining. I love watching him. I don't agree with everything he says, but he is good at making entertaining videos. The next question comes from Benny Lambert and he asked, when did you start gaming? And this is a long, long, long time ago. I'm a 90s kid, so I started back with like the Game Boy Advances and even like PlayStation 1. I remember I used to kind of sit like Indian style in front of the TV and I would sit there until my legs go numb. I would just be on there playing Crash Bandicoot for hours and hours and hours. And I don't remember the first game I ever played, but it was probably either one of the Game Boy Advance games or something like that. I would probably say that I was somewhere in between the 4 to 8 age of when I actually started playing though. The next question is from P Cube, and he asked, when is sub week? I want to play a game with you. And to be honest with you guys, again, like the Xbox thing, I just don't know when the next sub week is. I have to organize it and plan it out. And it kind of takes a lot of time in coming up with the game modes and stuff like that. So I do not know, but I will for sure let you guys know when the next sub week is. It might be another month from now. I just honestly have no clue. The next question is from Gaming Is Fun, and he asked, What is your lowest siege rank? And if I think he's talking about your ranked as in playing on ranked, it's been Platinum 3. Season 1, I was Platinum 3. Right now, I'm Platinum 3, and it doesn't quite look like I'll be able to get to Diamond. I've been pretty busy this weekend. So Season 3, when that starts up, I'll be grinding out. I'll for sure get Diamond for that. Moving along to the next question comes from El Gino. 0319 yes who is your favorite overwatch hero and for those of you guys who don't know i do play overwatch sometimes i have uploaded a couple overwatch videos it's just really addicting game and if you do know the heroes i would say my favorite is either reaper or i really like junkrat those would be probably my two mains 
Next, Gold Wolf XT asks, at the end of the year, how many subs do you think you will have? And if you guys follow me on Twitter, I do have a pinned tweet of my goal for this year. And I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. I never would have thought I would have hit that amount this year. It's just absolutely crazy. We might get it. It's going to be tough. I think we will. But to kind of put it into perspective, in January, at the beginning of this year, I only had 700 subscribers. But I've been working my butt off. And Siege has been a pretty popular game and it's helped me out a lot. So now we're almost at 30,000. It was absolutely insane, and I want to give you guys a huge, huge thank you for that. The next question comes from Seems Like Science, and I actually remember him. He goes way back. He's been a longtime supporter of my channel. I appreciate it. He asked, do you think Rainbow Six Siege will have a year two season? If so, what countries would you like to see? And the one kind of CTU that I would be the most excited for is the Irish IRA. And they just seem like so badass. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm actually Irish, but I just think they're so badass. I've seen quite a few things on the IRA, and I just think they would be a cool addition to Rainbow Six Siege. And the final question comes from Angie Mitchum and they asked what made you start a YouTube channel and this is a question that a lot of people want to know and for me it's not some kind of crazy story how I got into YouTube it's just something I've always wanted to do I was a hardcore Call of Duty player and I spent so many hours on video games and I just wanted to do something that would kind of make it worth it and I enjoy the feedback that you guys give and just kind of entertaining people was always something that I like to do and it's a good way to do it through my videos and I just always had a lot of support doing YouTube I had a lot of friends that would always tell me you know you should do YouTube you have the cool voice for it and I never used to really watch YouTube a lot so I didn't think too much of it but then once I started getting into watching a lot of YouTube and playing video games I just always thought it would be fun the challenge of editing a video and the time you spent on it to make a creation and have people who actually enjoy watching it is just such an insane feeling and for you guys to allow me to be in the position that I'm in now I just want to give you guys a huge thing Thank you. And for those of you who, you know, want to start a YouTube or want to get bigger on YouTube, my suggestion to you would just to work very, very hard. I am a firm believer that anything worth something in life, you're going to have to work for it and nothing comes easy. So I've just been busting my ass on YouTube and putting a lot of hours into this whole thing, whether it's editing, uploading a video, just doing a lot of stuff. And it takes a lot of time and effort, so don't give up. I know sometimes it seems like it's going nowhere. Back when I had like in the hundreds of subs, I didn't think I was gonna make anything of it. And it would be very frustrating and I wanted to quit at many times, but you just gotta push through it and just come up with new ideas and think of something that both you enjoy to play and other people enjoy to watch. But with all of that being said, that will wrap up my Q&A for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I wanted it to be kind of like, fun questions at the same time serious questions that you guys want to know but if you did happen to enjoy this video please make sure you hit that like button i would greatly appreciate all of the support comment down below hashtag g squad if you did stick around to the end also feel free to comment anything else you have down below i'm sorry if i didn't get to all of your questions there were a lot of them but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and if you haven't already please subscribe as usual you guys have a good one peace